Hey Jet fans, check out this photo of Antonio Cromartie. Is Cromart planking or is he trying to impregnate a guardrail? Find out this and more on the season three premiere of The Jetway. Welcome to the Jetway, your exclusive home for mindless commentary on all things dumb and all things NY Jets football. Let's hop right into it with something we're calling the top three most somewhat interesting moments from the Jets 2011 preseason. Number three, Jets against Texans in Houston. Gangrene leaves the halfback open in the flat and give up the touchdown. Texan fans love it and so do a couple of moron Jet fans who have zero clue what's happening on the field. This was in the second quarter. I can't imagine how wasted these girls were in the fourth quarter. Number two is part of a new segment we call the Boomer Esiason Boom of the Night. Preseason week four, Vince Young back to pass, thinks he has a man, but Brodney Poole says, welcome to the pool party. Oh, what a pop. Riley Cooper just got drilled by Poole. Poole was flagged on the play, but you can tell right here, this hit is all arm and shoulder. It should not have been a penalty. It's just a good, clean hit. And number one, the league's new kickoff rule that bumps up the tee by five yards has not been well received around the league. And special teams coach Mike Westhoff says he's been losing sleep over the change. Well, apparently also unable to get some rest, Westhoff's giant nipples. Okay, check it, check it, check it out. I don't know if he's making those puppies pop to show the ref he's no fan of this new rule, but I do know Westhoff is sure making me thirsty for a big tall glass of milk. The one good takeaway from the Westoff Nipplegate debacle, besides it reminding women of the dangers of going out in public without a brassiere, it also gave us the opportunity to see how the Jet coaches played on communicating with one another during the season. Let me explain. 14.52 in the third and the hard nips are out kicking ass and cutting glass. A dumbfounded Rex Ryan has no clue how to ask his coach to cover up, so he radios up to the Oracle, former Colts coaching legend Tom Moore, who takes complete control of the situation, hops on the PA system, and shouts for all to hear. West, West off. off. West, West off. off. Cover, cover up them titties. And then boom, 8.17 in the third, Westoff has them nipples covered up, and boy does he look embarrassed. Compliments to the Jet coaching staff for alerting themselves to the problem and correcting it quickly. Again, our number one most somewhat interesting moment of the Jets' 2011 preseason, Westoff's giant nipples. Thank God his last name's Westoff and not Scherhoff. And we're out of here. But first, check out my boy Plaxico, or as I call him, Plaxicool, scoring his first touchdown as a member of the New York Jets. Until next time, let's go Jets.